Пусть она немножечко-немножечко расскажет нам, что она помнит вот, о Венере, какие там дома, есть ли там растительность, как вот, что там вот за жизнь. И у нас же ведь по нашим понятиям на Венере плюс 500 градусов температура. Вот как она, что она нам расскажет? И, и какая жизнь там, такого же, так, в таком же теле, как наша, или там в другой, в другой форме жизни. Вот. Would you please tell us a little about life on Venus? Are there plants, trees, uh, what the sky looks like? Uh, we know that it's very hot there. How can people and, and plants survive on the planet? Uh, how is your life on Venus different from ours? As I said, um, there's one city that now exists on the physical, as well as the astral. Mm -hmm. And it's very much like the desert of Arizona or Nevada. It's very dry, the plants are pretty similar, mm -hmm. and the atmosphere is pretty much the same. Um, it's kept very comfortable within the dome because it's a controlled atmosphere. On the astral level, we have many plants because it, our environment is created by our thoughts, and we can have a, a tree growing through our, our bedroom. We can have waterfalls in the house. We have extensive, you know, love for gardens and plants and animal life is very similar to what you have on Earth. It's a little different. The fruit is almost the same. Sunflowers and corn were brought to Earth by my people thousands of years ago. This among some of the vegetation that were brought here that can grow in the environment here. And, but uh, there's not very much difference, just we have more available to us than people here. И жизнь вот такая вот, в таком вот биологическом ее проявлении жизни, или э, спиритуальном, или в каком-то другом, в какой-то другой состоянии, биоэнергетическом, mm -hmm. в какой форме жизнь там? How is life on Venus manifested, for example, how are the Venusians manifested on Venus? Are they in biological, material bodies, or are they in uh, kind of etheric, uh, bioenergetic, and non-material bodies? Well, we're actually not physical, but a duplicate of the physical, being the plane directly above the physical plane. Mm -hmm. We carry our children the same way. I remember being in the womb, and I remember being born, even though I was on the astral level. When you're there in your astral body, everything is as real to you as it is when you're here in your physical body. If you touch your table, would it be hard to your touch or would your hand go through your table? No, it's very solid. Um, you have a body that correlates to each plane. And if you are in that body on that plane, it's very real to you. But if you're a physical person and you see an astral entity... If you're from a different plane, then it then will it not seems, be real. It seems like it's ghostly, like... Hazy. Right, like the ghosts that people see here are mm -hmm. entities from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. uh, and disembodied, physically. И последний вопрос, конечно, я могла бы ее спрашивать очень много. Я обязательно расскажу о книге, которую написала советским зрителям. И еще последний вопрос, который я хотела, не хочу ее больше утомлять, хочу задать вопрос. Что она пожелает землянам? Вот сейчас, на этом уровне, когда мы уже подошли к тому, что мы контактируем с людьми с других планет. Well, my last question would be, of course, I would acquaint the Russian public with the contents of your book and your life story. Uh, but my last question is, what would be your message toward uh, us, the Earthlings, at the time when we are already establishing such contacts with representatives from other races? <laughs> well, I hope that I can in some way familiarize people with the fact that they don't have much to fear from people from other planets within our own solar system and that our brotherhood the, of the planets within the solar system that colonize the earth protects mankind from any harm from aliens from other solar systems or any kind of dangers. We will protect the populations of the earth until their consciousness comes to the level where that we can indeed offer them our uh, technical knowledge 
for their own means of travel to other planets and to study the solar system, but not as a means to hurt or to harm other races. And one thing I was impressed with by you was, very much like myself, Marina has technical knowledge of how things operate, you know, and beyond most normal everyday human beings. And myself, I have the same knowledge. She also has a respect for human beings as a whole, not separate races, but as a whole unit. And she wishes to incorporate into them the spirituality, the importance of understanding what they really basically are and what we were about. To raise the consciousness of mankind and to unite them without the different governments and without the powers that is preventing us from living the kind of advanced, simple, and beautiful lives that we should live. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And it's an honor knowing her. Спасибо большое. Большое спасибо. And I love her. Спасибо. 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 Thank you.